Admin with Waterworld magazine coming to you from the show floor at the Membrane Technology Conference in San Antonio. Talking with me today is Dennis Livingston. He is with Ovivo. Dennis, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. So Ovivo is very well known for having water and wastewater systems all around the world and one of their specialties is in MBR. That's correct. Tell us more about that. Well, at Ovivo, I'm actually, as Dennis Livingston, I'm the, the manager of our membrane bioreactor technologies, and we offer MBR solutions, integrated solutions for both small, modular, deployable type units, all the way through actually one of the largest MBR systems in the world that we're commissioning today in Canton, Ohio. Wow, and what are some of the advantages of Ovivo's MBR system over some others that might be out there in the market? Uh, there are several advantages, uh, probably the first being our people and our service that we can provide to, to support our operators and clients with running Ovivo MBR solutions, but also we offer some of the best technologies uh, as part of our MBR flow sheet and solutions, all the way from headworks through post-disinfection. Now, how long has Ovivo had an MBR product? How did that all come about? Well, about 15 years ago, I was tasked with promoting a new MBR technology in the U.S. market, specifically the U.S. municipal market. Um, at that time, we weren't exactly sure if the technology would take off. Fortunately, it has. 15 years later now, MBR is actually a flagship product line for Ovivo. And more globally or broadly speaking, there are now 600 MBR installations in the U.S. treating a combined capacity of 1 billion gallons per day. So tell us a little bit more about how you guys came to be where you are today. Actually, Dor Oliver, one of our legacy brands or heritage companies, pioneered MBR technology back in the 1960s. Um, back in 2001, we took back up the MBR mantle and commissioned our very first plant in Bandon Dunes, actually Bandon, Oregon at the Bandon Dunes Resort. Um, that was the first plant of now 250 installations. And it's still in operation today, actually effluent from that facility is irrigating four of the top golf courses uh, in the country. Um, fast forward to today, and now we're actually offering modular deployable MBR systems that can treat the same amount, 75,000 gallons per day, actually up to 125,000 gallons per day, as that Band Dunes facility. But what's interesting is that uh, you can actually go onto a simple website, design the plant yourself in minutes, and it can be delivered in weeks because we're manufacturing these modular facilities at a, at a plant not too far from where we are in San Antonio today. So that's what's changed as far as small plants, but on the other side of the spectrum for larger MBR systems, um, something of note is how efficient membrane technology has become over the last 15 mm -hmm. years since we got into the market. Um, uh, membrane technology has become 80% more efficient in terms of space, energy, mm -hmm. and cost. More importantly, total project costs have come down uh, dramatically, total installed project costs. So Dennis, tell us a little bit about this unit here that we see behind us. Well, as a systems provider, Ovivo has integrated eight different membrane designs over the last 15 years. What we see is an increase in efficiency of about 20% every, uh, with every innovation. This is the OV480 and is currently the technology that we're integrating into our MBR systems. And what we like about this technology is, is the fact that it's really bulletproof. Mm -hmm. I say that because it's very resistant to screenings or debris, damaging debris that can get past fine screens into an MBR. And also, if there is a problem at the plant, something happens uh, with other technologies, they can become what's called dewatered or clogged mm -hmm. with solids, which can cause maintenance issues at the plant. This is not prone to that, not susceptible. And if it does happen, it's very easy to clean or recover from. Um, we're actually bringing manufacturing uh, from Germany to Austin, Texas this year. And we'll be, we will be producing in collaboration with our partner, Microdyne Nadir, the OV480 early 2017. So Dennis, is this technology only for new builds or is it something that could be retrofit into existing plants? Well, that's a great question. And one of the advantages of this technology is, and the way that we're manufacturing is that we can customize it to meet the needs of each particular application and to go into existing tankage, even existing clarifiers. Mm -hmm. So by modifying the, the supports, by modifying the mechanical design of the unit, we can more easily go into existing tanks, regardless if they're shallow or deep or odd-shaped, again, like clarifiers with slope bottoms. Mm -hmm. uh, really, we're targeting the retrofit market in particular with the OV480 and the other building blocks. We are now talking with Chris Harris, who's a product manager for MBR Systems with Ovivo. Chris, I wanted to catch up with you because we've been hearing a lot about the microblock system. Sure. Um, tell us a little bit more about it. So this is our microblock system. Um, it's, it's a standard design that we've settled on. 
it, uh, it comes in the smaller one and we have a larger one, a two zone. Mm -hmm. This is a two zone and we have a four zone. We can uh, do flows from anywhere from 5,000 gallons a day up to 125,000 gallons a day. Um, one, of the, one of the neat things about the microblocks is everything is self-contained in the microblocks. Mm -hmm. We have no process up front of the microblocks. Wow. We're bringing the influence straight into the microblocks, going through the microblocks and we're out. Wow. So all the process is done in one basin wow. with simultaneous nitrification and denitrification. All in one basin, which is not heard of very often in the wastewater industry. Oh, so it's nice and compact. Yeah. It is. It's very compact, very small footprint. It's deployable. Um, we roll up on the truck. We kick it off, we hook up the influent, we hook up the effluent, the power, we're ready to row. We are chatting now with Kayla Burkholder. Kayla, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this microblock system because one of the things we've heard today is that you can actually build your own, make it very customized. Tell us more about that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we actually just recently launched our microblocks.build site. Uh, you are able to go online and start building today. Uh, it's five easy steps. You choose your application, you go through and choose your effluent parameters. Once you make these selections here, you'll move into the next step, which is choosing your flow rate. And you can do anything from a really small flow of 10,000 gallons a day all the way up to 250. Um, and these are just general parameters. If you need more options, we can always get that done. Next is your EQ or WAS basins. The last step is choosing kind of the accessories option. Um, this is where you can change the color so it blends in better with your environment, choose more analytics, walkways, stairs. And after that, the last step is to put in your email and we send you a spec sheet and an email and we'll be getting in touch with you to let you know, you know, what are the next steps in this process. Wow, that is so cool. You can really just make it exactly the way you need it. Exactly. If people want to learn more, where can they go? If you want to learn more about microblocks.build today, you can visit www.mbrcentral.com. Excellent. Kayla, thank you very much. We thank really you. appreciate it and wish you all the best of luck going forward. For Waterworld Magazine, I'm Angela Godwin.